<laughs> wow, Slipknot sounding good on, uh, on on half speed. A little Slipknot for you there. A little Slipknot. Start off your morning with a little Slipknot. Uh, Mark Scotty reporting. So some of the craziest things were in the election season, right? And you remember back, I'm going to play a vintage clip. We'll look at uh, the gaffe that Joe Biden made. Uh, uh, Michael Bloomberg is in the news. They're chopping each other up. They're cutting each other the hell up right now, right? Throwing, last week, Bernie Sanders uh, got thrown under the bus by Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton on the Howard Stern Show calls Bernie Sanders a Russian asset. What the fuck? Right? He's a Russian spy, right? Hillary Clinton, this shit is going crazy, right? So... Hillary Clinton, let's just talk about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. We'll take a, a stroll down memory, Clinton memory lane, right? You remember when, when she ran against Barack Obama? Now, Hillary Clinton has done horrific, disgusting things, right? Broken every law known to man, right? She's lied to Congress. She deleted, uh, you know, classified information. She, she uh, laundered probably billions of dollars. She's quid, Miss Quid Pro Quo Queen, a liar and a cheater and a you know thief should be in jail ten times over, probably a, a, a CIA spook uh, to some degree working in cahoots with the FBI to overthrow the government, overthrow Trump's government. Right? That's Hillary Clinton, right? That's we know who Hillary Clinton is. But of all the things she said, of all of the the horrific, disgusting things that Hillary Clinton has said in her life, I got to say that this is probably the most. The most horrific, the most disturbing thing that a candidate could possibly say in a in a race for the presidency, right? So here's Hillary Clinton back when she was running for running against Barack Obama, and Obama was was killing her, slaughtering, blowing her out, right? Towards the end of the the primary in 2008, Obama had the the pledge delegates. He had all of the Democrats. Uh, starting to flip for Obama. That's when it was somewhat fair, when the Democratic Party still had held somewhat of a fair election and, and Obama was just running away with it, right? But Hillary wouldn't drop out. She wouldn't quit. She was hanging in there, fucking no way, right? And, and she said the most incredible thing, that Barack Obama could get assassinated before it was over, right? She said she, said she, she references Robert uh, F. Kennedy, who was shot, in the head in the California primary leading up to the 1968 uh, run for the presidency, right? He was, he was the favorite, right? He was a senator, and then he decided to jump into the ring as the, uh, for the presidency, and he was assassinated in, in um, I believe it was California. He was shot in the head, right? So Hillary Clinton, while she's running against Barack Obama, she says, oh, well, I'm not going to drop out. What if he gets shot in the head? Like, you remember Robert, Robert Kennedy? So listen, listen to this shit. This is, I mean, this is classic Hillary Clinton. Pattern for quite some time now. And honestly, I mean, I just believe that this is the most important job in the world. It's the toughest job in the world. You should be willing to campaign for every vote. You should be willing to debate anytime, anywhere. I think it... That should be interesting because if she jumps into the election now... At this point, like after all the debates and everything is, is over, and she decides to, uh, if the Democrats decide to appoint Hillary Clinton as the candidate, there, there you have the evidence. She just said, you should be willing to debate any time. Is Hillary Clinton willing to debate right now? Fucking hell no, man. She's not, she's not going to do that. She wants it handed to her. It's an, it's an interesting juxtaposition uh, where we find ourselves. And, uh, you know, I have been willing to do all of that during the entire process. And people have been trying to push me out of this ever since Iowa. Um, and Why? I find that, I don't know. Why? I don't know. I, I don't, I find it curious because it is, it is un- Because you're a disgusting human being. You're a liar and people hate you. That's why. That's why it's obvious. You're a fucking scam. Precedented in history. I don't understand it. and. You know, between my opponent and his camp and some in the media, uh, there has been this urgency to end this. And, you know... I she was losing beyond repair. She, that's, a, that's a lie right there. She was losing to the point where there was no way, unless she could flip the superdelegates to, to overturn the will of the people, which is what she was intending to do with Obama. Oh. And she was being encouraged to get the fuck out. You lose. You lost. You're losing. You lost. You can't. The numbers don't add up. Uh, so she's she's just a liar. Historically, that makes no sense. Um, so I, I find it a bit of a mystery. We don't buy the party. 
Now listen to the big line. It's coming. It's coming. What are the arguments? I don't or? because, again, I've been around long enough. Uh, you know, my husband did not wrap up the nomination in 1992 until he won the California primary um, somewhere in the middle of June, June. right? We all remember Bobby Kennedy was assassinated in June in California. Oh, man. So she's saying, wait, that Obama might be assassinated. You remember Robert Kennedy was assassinated? Listen again. Kennedy was assassinated in June, June. right? We all remember Bobby Kennedy was assassinated in June in California. Let's listen to it on slow speed. Let's listen to Hillary Clinton say that shit. Let's hear us say it on, on, on warp speed at Bobby Kennedy. Um, somewhere in the middle of June, June, right? We all remember Bobby Kennedy was assassinated in June in California. Oh, God, you disgusting person. Oh, my God, you, call, you fucking, you, you call Bernie Sanders a Russian you say Obama. I mean, hey, you know, you love love Obama. I hate Obama, but you don't want to see Obama get shot in the head in a, in a, you know, in in the back of a in the back of a rally in California, right? God, Hillary Clinton. So what else is going on? So Mike Bloomberg. That's just a little more on the uh, election bullshit, the fake election, which it is. Of course, it's fake. We know it's fake, but we have to talk about it because we have to tell people it's fake so that they don't fucking think that they're actually getting a real election. Well, Bloomberg gets defensive when asked if he's trying to buy the election. Uh, there's no chance of winning, but uh, of course he's trying. I'm not trying to buy anything. I'm not trying to buy anything. That's all you know, Bloomberg. That's all you know. You got a billion dollars. You're like, fuck it, come on, man. I'm going to run. I'm gonna, I'll get a little lion's share of the vote. I'll try to negotiate down the road at, at the convention. I'll be so important. I got my, my big 8 or 10% of the, the election you know, of the vote that I spent, you know, uh, fucking, I don't know, $200 million on? Come on, what's it worth to you? What's it worth to you? Well, if corporations are going to dump in $2 billion into the, to promoting a Democrat to beat Trump, he, he spent two, $200 million, what's it worth? Maybe he can get a return on his investment, right? That's what he's looking for, a return on his investment to what? To stop Bernie Sanders. No, 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 we can't have Bernie Sanders. Joe Biden echoes that. Joe Biden says majority of Democratic Party doesn't support far left views of AOC. So now what they're trying to do is they're trying to paint Bernie Sanders as AOC, right? Put the two together. Right? Bernie, Joe Biden has squashed claims the Democratic Party is making a hard left turn, claiming in a new interview that the majority of the party doesn't support the views of firebrand socialist Representative Alessandro Castillo Cortez. You all thought that. What happened was the party moving extremely to the left after Hillary Clinton. AOC was the new party, the presidential wannabe, 77, uh, 77 told Axios, <laughs> 77, whatever, claiming media coverage. I always catch the fucking typos in the post. Claiming media coverage of radical Democrats had it wrong. She's a bright and wonderful person, but where's the party, Biden said at the, uh, of the Bronx-born politician, suggest, suggesting her reputation had been exaggerated. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Remember you know, when he says that shit? Come on, man. Come on. Fuck you, Biden. Uh, former vice president, uh, a top polling candidate. <laughs> yeah, polling. Since he announced the White House bid in April, said progressive Democrats represent a much smaller fraction of the party uh, and claim voters don't want Medicare for all. Stop right there. Medicare for all, wildly popular. 70% of uh, Americans want it. 85 to 90% of, of Democrats want it. Come on, it's all the progressives want it. 100%. 100% behind it. So he's a fucking liar. So they, you know, they're trying to chop. They're trying to chop up. So you know, disgusting Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry, I'm like jumping on the Hillary Clinton shit, but she's sticking her ugly head out again. And I had to bring up that clip when she, she, she waited. She waited. She stayed in the primary. We we learned in 2008, so that Barack Obama, she had her fingers crossed that he might just get assassinated before he got to the finish line. That's how fucking. That's how fucking sick. 
That's how fucking sick Hillary Clinton is, man. She's a sick fucking bitch. Sick bitch. You know, they say I'm sick because I listen to fucking sick. Don't your name. Let's stick your name back at Jake's